patient was just soft to the heart. And I tried to squeeze every single thing out of this patient. A lot of times you forget who you're supposed to be serving. Is the patient real to me? No, it's not real to me. And it's just a job of the way. I get out of the work, help me to go back home to do my own stuff. Then I was being trained as a doctor to be compassionate, to be, to be able to empathize. But So instead of hearing the sick and the ill, I decided that I become a glorified petition. <laughs> Millionaire and cosmetic surgeon Dr. Richard Teo was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer in March 2011, and he passed away last month at age 40. In January, the late Dr. Teo spoke to a class of dentistry students about his experience in the medical field and shared that the majority of doctors in Singapore were in the profession to get rich and did not empathize with their patients. His speech was recorded and uploaded more than once on YouTube and has since gone viral. Razi TV spoke to Dr. Siu Takwa, a medical consultant at the Sloan Clinic, and Dr. Wong Sing Wing, a specialist in medical oncology at the Cancer Center, to find out what they feel about the late Dr. Teo's comments. A lot of us have to get numb to our patients as we start to practice. Even as we go to the government hospitals, practice. I can tell you when I was in the hospital, stacks of patients told us, I can't wait to get rid of all these folders as soon as possible. I can't wait to get a patient out of my consultation room as soon as possible because there's just so many. And that's a reality. So are doctors here compassionate? Graduating from NUS in 1995 and treating cancer patients since 2000, Dr. Wong Seng Wing thinks it's a question that students have to ask themselves before pursuing medicine. At 17, 18, do we know what it means? A life time in the medical field, the sacrifice, the pains and sufferings that people under, are undergoing, how you, you handhold them, take them through, how to be the perfect doctor, the emotional strain, you know, it's a lifetime thing. You think an 18-year-old can understand all that? Probably not. So the 18-year-old will opt for medicine for various reasons. He thinks that it's interesting. He thinks it is glamorous, he opts because his friends are opting for the same field or his parents feel that he should go into that field. So unfortunately, there will be some people who join the medical faculty and they would run into difficulties because they were not cut up for the job. Hopefully two out of three are suitable, maybe one out of three are less suited you know, for such a field. But there was no way to be able to tell at that age. Practicing medicine since 2003, Dr. Siu, who has been in the field of aesthetics for six years, also ran into difficulties while serving his bond in public hospitals. Spending most of his junior doctor training at Changi General Hospital, the 34-year-old shared how the workload caused him to be less compassionate with his patients. Very often, you end up not seeing them as people, as patients. Uh, they may be suffering, but you may not feel they're suffering at all because you just see them as tasks to be done. So I have to take blood from A, I have to take blood from B, I have to write the summary for C. It became like that. Oftentimes we, you know, we just wanted to get the work done. We just rushed through it. Oftentimes I've been rude to my patients. I've been rude to the family members because I was so tired. I haven't had a meal in a day. I haven't had time to go to the toilet. And there were so many things that I could have done better and being a better doctor. Dr. Siu revealed during his early years as a houseman and junior doctor, he would often work 36 hours straight. In offering a solution to junior doctor's woes, Dr. Wong said that compassion can't be taught, but instead inspired. How would I train junior doctors to be more compassionate? I won't because I don't think it can be done. But I'll try to inspire them by being compassionate towards the difficulties and the challenges that they are facing as junior doctors. Dr. Wong also warned that doctors who numb themselves to patients' plights can prove a disservice to the medical profession. Don't cut yourself off and numb yourself. As a doctor working with patients who are seriously ill, you'll be in an unusual situation whereby you go through this cycle of pain, life and death, pain, life and death, multiple times, many, many times, and the perspective that you, of life that you can derive from that unusual experience will be very, very different so you are in 
a very we are in a uh, a very privileged situation. Dr. Siu said that many young doctors are idealistic about their profession, but the realities of the job can wear them down. You go away with the idea that you want to save people, you want to heal people, uh, you want to speak to patients and interact with them. But then when you get thrown into the public hospital, the real world is a bit different. You, are, you, are, you end up doing a lot of mundane tasks, repetitive actions over and over again, sometimes with no end in sight. So, so over, along the way, of course, a lot of people do get uh, this illusion. They get overwhelmed and tired. So what exactly are those dark times that new doctors face in their early years? In the next part, Dr. Siu and Dr. Wong reveal the hurdle that every doctor has to experience.